Hi, this is Math for Wednesday, April 21st. Math for Wednesday, April 21st. This is your math test. We're doing a math test today. Okay? Uh, we need math book page 497 and a few more, but 497 right now. Okay? Complete each sentence. Difference ones subtract sum in tens. The answer to an addition problem is called the. The answer to an addition problem is called the. Number two. In the number 63, six is in the what place? Tens or ones. In the number 63, six is in the tens or ones place. And three, you blank to find the difference of numbers. You blank to find the difference of numbers. And the Four, the answer to a subtraction problem is called the The answer to a subtraction problem is called the And five, in the number 72, two is in the tens or ones place. Tens or ones place. Okay, you might need to go back and think about that a little bit later. Do the best you can on that. And then before you send it to your teacher, you might need to go rethink that a little bit. It's a little bit hard. Okay, let's go to the bottom. Two tens plus one ten is how many tens? That means 20 plus 10 is six tens plus three tens is how many tens? 60 plus 30 is how much? What's the answer to 60 plus 30? You can pause me anytime you need to. Okay, on the back. 75 plus 1. 36 plus 3. Okay, remember, always add the ones first. Thirteen, fourteen, our takeaway, look at the subtraction. Six tens minus two tens is how many tens? It's takeaway. 60 minus 20, that's a count back. 60, 50, 40. Help you a little bit there. That's a count back by tens. Five tens minus two tens is how many tens? And then 50 minus 20 is how many? So these are takeaway. These are how many tens? It's not gonna have a zero in your answer. Okay, use a number line. 80 minus 30 and 90 minus 20. Remember, those are minuses or takeaway. Okay, next page. Cameron has 60 marbles. Eric borrows 30 of them. So that's 60 minus 30, use your number line. How many marbles does Cameron have left? 60 minus 30, use your number line.
Okay, you're gonna write a subtraction problem using a 50, a 20, and a 70. And actually you're gonna write two subtraction problems using a 50, a 20, and a 70. Remember, when you do subtraction, we have to start with, yep, the biggest number. Use these numbers and write a subtraction problem. Use these numbers and write another subtraction problem. There are 25 people at a park. Three more people come to the park. How many people are at the park? 25 plus three. 25 plus three. Okay, next page. Okay. We're gonna do this problem, put the answer here. Explain your work. Explain your work. I started with the, I drew an arrow to help you. I started with the blank place. What side do we always start with? After this place, after the ones, what do you what do you add next? I started with the blank place value and then I added the blank place. Kind of helped you with that. Pause me and do that. Pause me and do that. Okay. Eight tens minus three tens is how many tens? Eighty minus thirty is how many? Can explain your work. I would say I started with 80. And counted back. What number did you count back? I started with 80. What number did you count back? And I got what answer? What answer did you get? I started with 80. I counted back. What answer did you get? Pause me and do that. Write that all in. Okay, on the back of that page. I think it's the back of that page. Oh no, it's the next page. Performance task. Page 500 PTI or one. Mr. Fellows is buying school supplies for his first grade class. Show all of your work. Okay. Mr. Fellows buys 30 yellow folders and 60 green folders. Write a number sentence to find how many folders he buys in all. 
He buys 30 yellow and 60 green. How many in all? Mr. Fellows buys 27 black pins and 30 blue pins. Write a number sentence to find how many pins he buys in all. Okay, pause me and do that page. Then we'll be ready for the back. Okay, part C. Mr. Fellows buys 60 boxes of markers. He returns 30 boxes. That means he gives away or gives back 30. How many boxes does he have left? Use the number line to help you. He started with 60. He gave back 30. So how many boxes does he have left? Use the number line to help you. Okay, part D. Mr. Fellows buys 47 pairs of scissors. He buys four more pairs. How many pairs of scissors does he have now? Write a number sentence to solve. He had 47, he bought four more. How many pairs does he have now? Okay, you need to go back through, look it over, do whatever you didn't get done, and then send it all of these three pages to your teacher because this is your math test, okay? So it's very important that you send all three pages. Okay, and that's the end of Wednesday's math. Good job.